definition, Ra is characterized by three things. One is the synovial intervention, the other is cardiac degradation, and bone erosion. So, uh, uh, because I will focus on some of my research, so the target one would be synovial, how to inhibit synovial hyperplasia. The first attempt is to identify possible therapeutic targets for one we will focus on cells. So this figure demonstrates some potential therapeutic targets and are especially targeted by some drugs currently in clinical trials. But the main groups also conducting their research targeted in various cytokines. Uh, like some cytokines will uh, affect O, C, O, and O, O, B, and some affect cartilage, and some affect the synovial fibroblast. But the first question is how to decide which cytokine might be a therapeutic target. So by this slide, you can see it's a homeostatic balance. Uh, we can see the very light side. IL-1, TNF-alpha, and IL-6. So that's why these three cytokines became the mainstream of the uh, uh, target for uh, treating of the rheumatoid arthritis. And the IL-1, uh, we know, is a, a, pro, a very, very important pro inflammatory cytokines. They can affect the three parts of RA, the pathogenesis of RA, cerebral hyperplasia, cartilage breakdown, and the bone resorption. So 20 years ago, when I was research fellow in Harvard, and uh, uh, we we study the DMARS that uh, at that time is very very new and very uh, very it's a very good uh, discovery, and uh, all of these DMARS may affect either the IR1 activity, but uh, or the production of the IL-1. But since 1984 and uh, 1985, both Professor Dinger and Professor Ari identified an uh, IL-1 specific inhibitor in urine and monocyte cultures. So IL-1-RA became the, uh, uh, a new, uh, a, a new uh, possible, possible drugs for treating rheumatoid arthritis. In 2004, my group uh, finished the study of pharmacokinetics of the IL-1 receptor in Chinese subjects with RA. And since that time, I did a lot of work in this field. But because IL-1 RA will compete IL-1 receptor with IL-1, so supposedly it should be, should, can we uh, inhibit joint destruction, bone resorption, and the impairment of repair. Uh, because iron receptor antagonist has been uh, commercially available, so uh, based on the inflammatory house cars theory, I think probably we can use two inhibitors simultaneously to treat RA. So I make a fusion protein, uh, connect uh, IL-1, uh, there is a linker, there is a linker to link iron receptor antagonist in IL-10. And then we found that this fusion protein can demonstrate the dual biological functions. And this is a, a molecular a construction of this fusion protein. And it's shoot by SDS page and the Western blood is a, a purified and the functional protein. So that protein can significantly inhibit IL-1 activity by urine cells IL-6 and also demonstrate IL-10 activity by inhibiting commonly induced integral gamma production from urine spermicide. And it also we have it the reduce the power thickness and also demonstrated by histological uh, findings. But an important the direction changing study was an in vitro experiment, experiment, experiment done by Professor Whedon, uh, published on Lancet in 1989, demonstrated that blocking TF alpha in, in the cellular culture by anti TF alpha antibody resulting in down regulation of pro inflammatory cytokine, noted by IL-1. So uh, that's why the tf inhibitor became the mainstream of the biological agents in treating rheumatoid arthritis present, and it also got very good uh, clinical effects. So besides IL-1, tf and IL-6 group, there's another group, cytokine group, is IL-12 family, because IL-12 and IL-23, uh, uh, IL-12 and IL-23 share P40, but uh, IL-23 have P19 uh, 
and the IR-12 and P-14. Uh, in 2005, there are two uh, very important uh, papers published on natural immunology uh, demonstrated that there is uh, IR-17 producing TH uh, cells, and not TH1 and not TH2, TH but TH17. And this cell could be primed by IR-23 and the IR-1. And uh, uh, New England Journal of Medicine demonstrated IR-17 may affect all of the cell types important cell types in rheumatoid arthritis and make uh, some biological effects synovial, synovial inflammation, matrix structure bone erosion and cartridge damage but if we block by P14 blockade this uh, IR-12 and IR-23 share this molecule uh, it may reduce the inflammatory response but also affect the host, host events so we may, we may have a very specific anti-T19 antibody to uh, block only the inflammatory response. So my thought is shoot, uh, the upper figure is the rheumatoid arthritis, and the right is the CI mice count, and the, the DBA mice. And we, we can demonstrate uh, much more expression of IL-23 P19 on RA patients and on CI uh, synovia. So why IL-23 P19 uh, there is an uh, overexpression? Uh, we think it probably affects uh, some of the pro inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-1. So, by the RT-PCR, the Western blot, we demonstrate the IL-1. Uh, there, there is a uh, dose dependent IL-1 stimulation to IL-23 nitrogen expression. And also, there is a, a time course study, sure, 6 hours is enough for IL-1 stimulation. And also, TF-alpha demonstrated the similar effects. And uh, this is through the f kappa b and the AP1 uh, uh, transduction pathway. Uh, IL-23 P19 also can stimulate IL-6 and the IL-8 produ IL production. So that is so, uh, so very important in the pathogens of RA. We also want to, uh, to have some, some medicines except the specific body. So we find a, a, a traditional Chinese herb. We call it a TWH. Tyrogen, well for the Hulk F. It can significantly help the R1 induce IL-23 lighting expression. It's a, there is also dense dose uh, dependent uh, uh, expression. So the selected cytokine therapeutic targets to maybe three, at least the three parts. One is IL-1 T5 IL-6, the other one is IL-2 IL-23 group, and, uh, and the IL-17, and probably other like uh, IL-15 and IL-18. But cytokines regulate, regulate various processes of RNA. They may affect uh, only cellular, cellular recruitment, cellular retention, or immunological activation, or tissue response. So how to identify the dynamic cytokine expression? So uh, if we can get this information, we can treat the patient in the right time with right uh, anti-cytokine uh, molecules. So uh, we use a uh, a uh, cuprofen hollow fiber with the uh, dialysis membrane insert into the joints and we can collect the perfusion from the inserted ne uh, needle and uh, uh, we found that there is an increased MCP1 in new needles on right with adrenaline induced arthritis so maybe someday we can insert a needle into the joint and collect the, super, uh, super, uh, the joint fluid uh, in different time and treat it uh, the rheumatoid body with white uh, anti-cytokine uh, molecules. And uh, this uh, last year, GI published a paper and they say IL-17 may mediate the monocyte migration occurs partially through MCP1 induction. And the MCP1 is a downstream target of IL-17. And so MCP1 may be very important in RA. If we cannot prevent cerebral hyperplasia, we have to uh, the synovial will invade the cartridge and make a cartridge degradation. So the second target will be how to stop cartridge degradation. Uh, cartridge, cartridge synthesis depends on TD beta superfamily and uh, the degradation may be induced by IL-19 alpha and IL-17. So we studied the TD beta superfamily and uh, we only uh, we only choose two, mo two, two molecules. One is activity and the other is TD5. Activity A belongs to TG beta family. 
And the constitution of activity A is the fluid, it's a higher impatient desire than in all patients. And the activity A expression is upregulated in rheumatoid synovium, synovium compared with OA or normal joint synoviums. MP is a good target to study um, how to, uh, 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 to, to show the effects of some molecules on uh, cartridge degradation. So our study also demonstrated that activity A can surprise IR1 induced and MP3 situation in human chondrocytes. The other molecule that we try is GF5 because this molecule we also call cartilage derived morphogenic protein produced by fibroblast on the cartilage chondrocyte and the number thus. This molecule can action on TGF beta superbank molecules and it plays a very important and multiple roles in normal state of development, including condensation and uh, the mass chemical condensation and cartilage uh, formation. So all studies demonstrate that there is less, much less expression of GD5 on RA synovium and the cartilage compared to OA patients. So why there, there are so uh, less of the GF5 expression on rheumatoid arthritis, we think probably some program and cytopaths will affect the, 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 this phenomenon. So we try IL1 and TF alpha, and with uh, our results should uh, both IL1 and TF alpha, there's a dose dependent inhibited GF5 expression by uh, RT PCR. And also, uh, uh, that the, the previous one is the fibroblast, and this one is uh, uh, the effects on chondrocyte, on fluid chondrocyte. Signific uh, still significant dose dependent inhibit uh, GDF5 expression. And uh, this effects just through the MAC inhibitor, uh, MAC tra uh, transduction pathway. We use the inhibitor and the data through these uh, figures. Okay. So we also try the, the real effects on uh, two. Uh, Two, two things. One is a Brickian expression, and the other is color to type 2 expression. And we found if we use TGF beta and the GF5 alone, it's only a little effect. But if we combine TGF beta 3 and the GF5, do time? But I have only 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, I will try my best. Okay, if we cannot prevent color degradation, uh, it, uh, uh, it's possible as we can. The third thing would be bone erosion. So we have to, uh, to prevent the, 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 the last uh, problem is for, uh, how to prevent bone erosion. Uh, okay. uh, this is a summary of the cytokine factor and uh, the factors associated with inflammatory joint disease uh, listed here. But we also used some uh, new molecules, and this is a pattern by uh, Professor Wong Qi Hui in the Academia Sinica. And I, put, uh, pro, I, I, get, I got these uh, molecules uh, from, from him. And this is the traditional herbal medicine, and uh, uh, the component just, just, just demonstrated there. And the, our study showed this molecule can be reduced uh, as well as sour in the past valley, and also the, C, the CIA involved is liver inflammation and the bone erosion by people from Beijing or say. A regular both bone resolution was dose dependent diminished by uh, these molecules. And by track standing, PA dose dependent inhibit the number of OC and uh, through all of the osteoclastogenic markers, such as uh, especially in fact C1. So this is a Western blood can demonstrate uh, there is a phosphorylation inhibited by uh, purified PA in concentration dependent minor and also. Uh, Renko induced alcohol B degradation uh, in even in 30 minutes could be reduced by dose A. And uh, we also confirm NFAC inhibition by immunofluorescent standing dose dependent inhibit and by Western blood still uh, inhibit NFAC uh, uh, expression. So we postulate the dose A confirmed the inhibitor activity of PA for inhibition of OC genesis via down regulation of Renko induced NFAC expression. And it would be PA would be a new rem remedy against inferior bone destruction. And this paper has been accepted by general rheumatology this month. So uh, this is the last slide targeting the rheumatoid targeted by molecular or cellular strategies. Uh, I think one thing is how to stop uh, synovial hyperplasia, maybe through inflammatory mediator inhibition, antigenous inhibitor, past growth inhibition, 
or it looks like division division. And the one thing, the other thing is how to uh, inhibit the cardiac degradation, maybe by some uh, anti NNP uh, proteins, and how to uh, stop bone resorption by, by multiple molecules or by some new molecules. And uh, actually, recently we can read uh, many papers of John Tan's uh, international journals, and actually, some molecules can inhibit bone resorption. I think uh, this is uh, some strategy for treating rheumatoid arthritis. The last slide down to Power 101. This is the first, first minute of this, this year. It's a firework. Thank you very much for your attention.